Welcome everybody to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to lubricate your gantry rails inside your laser cutter machine. Um, it's important to lubricate your machine and the gantry rails every one to three months, depending on how much use you get out of your machine. If you use it pretty often, you should probably lubricate it more often than not. Um, so for this video, I'm going to show you actually how to remove the old lubricant and then apply the new lubricant and what lubricant to use. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So what's recommended by Omtech is to use white lithium grease. White lithium grease is kind of a thicker grease-like lubricant uh, that's really easy to apply. You can find it at pretty much any local hardware store um, or you can get it on Amazon. Uh, so what you want to do before you apply this grease is you're going to actually go to your X and Y axis and you'll see those metal uh, plates going across. Um, just go ahead and take a paper towel and, and just gently wipe it back and forth and you'll start to see some of that gunk and old lubricant come right up. So go ahead and clean off both your X and Y rails and then once you have those clean and removed all that old gunk we can go ahead and apply the new lubricant. So after the rails are nice and clean and wiped off with a paper towel, look under your gantry rail and you'll start to see some buildup of where it slides along that axis. Um, it's underneath the gantry so it's hard to get there with your fingers. Go ahead and use a q-tip just to wipe off all that excess that's right there. Inside that excess you'll notice there's going to be a lot of gunk built up with smoke and, and particle residue that, that kind of combines into uh, that lubricant. So once you have the gunk build off removed, now we can start to actually apply the new lubricant. So the application is pretty simple. Basically what you wanna do is take a clean paper towel and then apply some of that white lubricant to the paper towel. And rather than have it clumped up in one spot, I like to smear it all around uh, and, and just make it nice and even. So um, after you have the lubricant applied to the paper towel, just run it across the railing right on the top where you'll see that groove that's right there. That's the part that's sitting inside the railing that has a little bit of friction. So we want to lubricate that part to give it a nice easy glide motion. So after it's applied, just go ahead and use your directional pad on your controller and move it back and forth. And this will kind of spread out some of that lubricant for you. Now, once you have uh, that access done, just move along to the other access. And just in the same type motion, you wanna apply some lubricant to your paper towel and then run it along the railings. You'll repeat the process of application. And then also you wanna make sure you use that directional pad to move it back and forth. And that'll help distribute some of that lubricant back and forth as well too. Once you're done applying the lubricant and moving it back and forth, um, I just like to give it a full cycle and I run it all the way down to the bottom of the machine, then all the way across, all the way back. Um, and I do this a couple times just to make sure that everything's working okay. And I give it a nice visual inspection before I feel confident in my lubrication. Um, you'll see right here, everything glides in a nice smooth motion. We've done a good job cleaning it up and we've done a good job putting the lubricant back on. This concludes our video on applying lubrication to your gantry rails. Uh, please keep in mind, this is something you wanna do every one to three months, depending on how much you use your machine. Um, I hope this video helps. And if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please feel free to let us know down below in the comments.